Making it in New York City as an artist is a challenge that many have tried and failed. Meet Eddie Granger, a 24-year-old artist who says failure is no option. I am originally from Louisiana. I'm basically a southern boy at heart. When I was young in elementary, I would always draw cartoon characters, very like illustrative works, and I'd always use crayons, which is why crayons are now a consistent medium with me. What's the best part about crayons? Um, crayons, so let's see. Crayons, they attach to all of your senses. You can smell them, you can see the texture, you can feel the texture. You can eat them if you wanted. That's where the taste comes into play. Um, and then there's like this nostalgic feeling to it. Um, everyone can relate to a crayon. I moved here over a year ago, last July, and I've won, like I've 360 changed my life. But you don't take yourself too seriously. I don't take myself too seriously. I really don't. In my mind, You're stupid. I'm very stupid, actually. And my mind is very stupid. I don't know where it is right now. It's probably somewhere in the refrigerator if you want to go look for it. I'm preserving my brain for when I actually need it, you know? I never know if I'm going to hit a creative block, um, if I'm going to get down to the last dollar in my bank account. I never know what's next. And it's a little bit scary because that's also the challenge. In the future, um, that holds a lot for me. I mean, I'm already going to Berlin soon, next month, for an exhibit. That's the future. And then after that, I don't know. Big project for Thrillist you just completed. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, so I was commissioned to do like a huge installation at Thrillist. Um, I don't know the square footage of the place, but it's massive. Um, that was really fun for me. And I'm getting ready to start another one for a firm in Soho. Tell me about Instagram. Ooh. <laughs> because Instagram. How do you get 24,000 followers on Instagram and not be famous? Um, well, let's see. <laughs> There's, I, I've been having Instagram from the beginning, I guess. I take my Instagram very seriously. It's a journal and it's not just a place to post random stuff and just like, it's not a joke. It's really not, it's, it's not a life, it. it's actually a lifestyle. Um, and whether people can make fun of me or not, it is a lifestyle and I've watched my followers grow and grow and grow and I don't, I can't post a picture now without getting less than 800 likes, which is fascinating. I show people that I am a true artist who does cool work and people gravitate to that. And, but then they also see that I'm actually a real person and I also can post cool stuff and I'm just, I guess they think I'm a cool person, I don't know. People want to see what you're doing and that you're doing what you want to do and how hard you're working for it. Or, I'm rather working smart. It's all about working smart here. Being in New York City is about being humble but being bold. So like, don't throw an ego out in New York City because it'll get slammed real fast. Um, but it's just, being here in New York City you have to like pick up a sense of style and a sense of way of life. and. I think that's the most beautiful thing about being here, is there's something about New York that nowhere else has. And if you can pick that up, then you're home. <laughs>